Today we are going to crochet a Santa Claus bucket bag with a super large capacity. The material used is a 5-strand milk cotton double-strand crochet. The crochet hook used is 3.5 mm crochet hook. The internal capacity is very large. It can be used to hold apples or small gifts during Christmas. Next, let's take a look at the effect when worn. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Now let's crochet together. Let's start by crocheting the bottom of the bag. First, make a magic ring. Make two loops on top of your fingers. Insert the crochet hook into the starting loop. Pull out a loop. Crochet hook another stitch to secure. Next, crochet the first round. The first round is to crochet six single crochet stitches in the starting loop. The crochet technique for single crochet. Wrap the crochet hook around the yarn and pull out a loop. Now the crochet hook has two loops. Wrap the yarn and pull it through both loops at once. Then, on top of the first stitches, place a marker as a reference. Using the same method, crochet a total of six single crochet stitches in the starting loop. Wrap the yarn. Tighten the loop next. There are two segments and one yarn end at the opening. Pull the yarn end inside first, then pull the half segment of yarn. This will shrink the loop. Next, work with the first stitches. Crochet a slip stitch to join. This completes the first round. Next, crochet a chain stitch as the starting stitch. Start crocheting the second round. The increase pattern for the second round is to crochet two single crochets in each stitches. First, insert into the first stitches. Crochet two single crochets in the same stitches. This is a single crochet increase. Place a marker at the position of the first stitch. Then in each following stitches. Crochet two single crochets in the same stitches. Follow the pattern and crochet a total of six times. Next, continue crocheting. Continue crocheting six times. Please like, subscribe, share, and support with tips. After completing the second round, there are a total of 12 single crochets. Then, crochet slip stitch to join the first stitches. Crochet a slip stitch to join. Crochet a standing stitch to start the third round. The increase pattern for the third round is to increase one single crochet every other single crochet. First, in the first stitches, crochet a single crochet. Increase a single crochet in the second stitches. This completes one set of increases. Then crochet the next set. Crochet a single crochet in the first stitches. Increase a single crochet in the second stitches. This completes the second set of increases. Continue following this pattern. In total crochet six sets of increases. Continue crocheting six sets of increases.
After completing the third round, there are a total of 18 single crochets. Then, crochet a slip stitch to join with the first stitches. Join with a slip stitch. Crochet a standing stitch. We start crocheting the fourth round. The increase pattern for the fourth round is to work one single crochet into every two single crochets. First, work one single crochet into the first stitches. Then, work one single crochet into the second stitches. And work one increase into the third stitches. This completes one set of increases. Then crochet the second set. Work one single crochet into the first stitches. Work one single crochet into the second stitches. And work one increase into the third stitches. This completes two sets of increases. Next, follow the same increase pattern. Work a total of six sets. Do not imitate. After completing the fourth round, there are a total of 24 single crochets. Then, join with a slip stitch into the first stitches and work a chain stitch. We start crocheting the fifth round. The increase pattern for the fifth round is to single crochet in every third stitch. First, single crochet in the first stitches. Single crochet in the second stitches. Single crochet in the third stitches. Increase by single crocheting in the fourth stitches. This completes the first set of increases. Then crochet the second set. Single crochet in the first stitches. Single crochet in the second stitches. Single crochet in the third stitches. Increase by single crocheting in the fourth stitches. This completes the second set. Continue following the same pattern. A total of six sets of increases will be crocheted. After completing the fifth round, there will be a total of 30 single crochets. Then, join with a slip stitch to the first stitches. Crochet another standing stitch. Let's start crocheting the sixth round. We also found in the previous few laps. The increase pattern for each lap is a small increase. In the third lap, add one stitch every other stitch. In the fourth lap, add one stitch every two stitches. In the fifth lap, add one stitch every two stitches. In the fifth lap, add one stitch every three stitches. So in the sixth lap, add one stitch every four stitches. In the seventh lap, add one stitch every five stitches. In the eighth lap, add one stitch every six stitches. In the ninth lap, add one stitch every seven stitches. In the tenth lap, add one stitch every eight stitches. Next, we will continue to crochet according to the pattern until the tenth lap. After completing the ten rounds of the bottom, then crochet the bag part. Insert the hook at any position. Only pick the outer half of the stitches. Pull the yarn through. Then crochet a chain stitch. Crochet a single crochet in each stitches. A total of 60 single crochets are crocheted. When crocheting, only pick the outer half of the stitches. After completing the first round, and the first stitches, crochet a slip stitch to join. Then crochet a chain stitch. Start crocheting the second round. Work a complete round of stitches for the second round. Crochet 60 single crochets. Crochet one single crochet in each stitch. Repeat the crochet pattern. We're crocheting one South Carolina in each stitch. Crochet round by round. Keep crocheting until the 10th round. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 rounds. After completion, crochet a slip stitch.
Insert hook into any stitch, bring in the white yarn. First crochet a standing stitch. Then crochet a single crochet in each stitches. A total of 60 single crochets are crocheted in this round. After crocheting 60 single crochets, we start crocheting the 12th round. First crochet a standing stitch. Next crochet 30 single crochets in order. After completion, pick up the back loop. Insert the needle from the center of the braid to the outside, and pick up the outer half loop. Crochet 30 back loop single crochets. After completion, pick up back loop single crochets. After completing 30 back loop single crochets, crochet a slip stitch to connect with the first stitches. Next, switch to the skin color yarn. Insert the hook into a stitches at will. Bring in the skin color yarn. Another round. Continue to crochet 30 back loop single crochets where the back loop single crochets are crocheted. Continue to crochet 30 back loop single crochets. 30 normal single crochets, pick up the entire complete stitches, crochet 30 single crochets. After completing the 13th round, slip stitch to join with the first stitches. Then crochet a standing stitch, and we start crocheting the 14th round. From the 14th round to the 18th round, we crochet one South Carolina in each stitch, a total of 60 single crochets in each round, and continue crocheting until the 18th round. After completing the 18th round, slip stitch to join with the first stitches. After completing the 19th round, slip stitch to join with the first stitches. Next, go back to the 11th and 12th rounds. For the remaining 30 inner loop stitches, we pick the inner loop and crochet Santa's beard. First, bring the yarn in, crochet 6 chain stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then insert into the second stitches.
Crochet a slip stitch to join. Then continue crocheting 6 chain stitches. Then go back to the 3rd stitches. Crochet a slip stitch to join. Then continue crocheting 6 chain stitches. Go back to the 4th stitches. Crochet a slip stitch. Repeat the process according to this method. Continue crocheting until the other end. Continue crocheting 6 chain stitches. The last stitches is the stitches. After completing the last stitches, we will turn the main body around, directly insert into the outer half stitches of the previous row, crochet a slip stitch, and then crochet 6 chain stitches. Crochet a slip stitch connection in the previous stitches. Then crochet 6 chain stitches. Crochet a slip stitch connection in the previous stitches. We crochet this row using the same method. After crocheting, crochet a slip stitch. Cut the thread and pull out the end. Use the sewing needle in the material bag to hide the thread end. Next, switch to the red thread and insert the needle into any stitches, at will. Bring the thread in. We start crocheting the 19th row. First, crochet a turning chain. Then, pick the outer half of the stitches. Crochet a single crochet. We have a total of 60 single crochet stitches in this row. Only pick the outer half stitch to crochet. After completing round 19, crochet a slip stitch to join with the first stitches. Then crochet a standing stitch. Start crocheting round 20. In round 20, we crochet into the complete stitches. Crochet 1 South Carolina in each of the 60 stitches. Crochet 1 single crochet in each stitches. Continue crocheting until the 28th row. After completing the 28th row, then crochet a slip stitch. Crochet 2 standing stitches. We start crocheting the 29th row. Skip 1 stitches and do not crochet. Crochet 1 single crochet in the 2nd stitches. Then crochet a chain stitch. Skip 1 stitches and do not crochet. Crochet 1 single crochet in the next stitches. 1 chain stitch. Skip 1 stitches and do not crochet. Crochet 1 single crochet in the next stitches. We follow this method. Continue to crochet this round. This round serves as the hollow part for threading the pocket. Finally, with the first stitches, crochet a slip stitch to join. Then crochet a standing stitch. Start crocheting the 30th round. Crochet a single crochet inside the hollow. Organize another single crochet within the single crochet. Crochet a single crochet inside the single crochet. Crochet a single crochet inside the hollow. 
Crochet a single crochet inside the single crochet. Crochet this round following this method. After completing the 30th round, crochet a slip stitch to join with the first stitches. Crochet a standing stitch. Cut the yarn and pull the end through. We have completed the main part. Next, use white yarn. Crochet an adequate amount of chain stitches as the drawstring. After folding the piece in half, find the center position on the back. At the center position on the back, thread the drawstring through the back. The end of the thread is left inside the bag. Next, skip one hole, thread through once. Thread through once, skip one hole. Thread the drawstring according to this method. Finally, the two ends of the thread are tied together, placed inside the bag. Next, on the remaining half stitches of the flesh colored part, introduce the white thread. First, crochet a chain stitch. Then crochet a row. Reverse single crochet. We normally crochet single crochet from right to left. So for reverse single crochet, we crochet from left to right. Next, watch me demonstrate. Go back into the previous stitch. Which is the stitch at the back. Go back into the back of this stitch. Crochet single crochet. This row. We crochet single crochet from left to right in this row. One South Carolina in each stitch. Crochet 60 single crochet in this row. Let's do a detail in this way. After completing a round of single crochet, cut the yarn. Pull the yarn end out. Use the hand sewing needle in the material pack. Tuck the yarn end away. Next, crochet Santa's nose. First, lock the needle and start stitching. Crochet a slip stitch. Then pull the loop of yarn long. Crochet a slip stitch. Wrap the crochet hook around the yarn. Insert back into the first stitches. Crochet an unfinished half double crochet. Once. Then crochet. Twice. Three times. Four times. Then wrap the crochet hook around the yarn. Pull all the loops on the crochet hook at once. Crochet a lock stitch. Then insert back into the stitches below. Crochet a slip stitch. Crochet a standing stitch. Cut the thread and pull out the loose end. This way, we have completed the calligraphy. Next, sew the eyes together. And sew the calligraphy in the appropriate position.
Then, crochet the small ball on top of the head. The first three rounds of the ball and the first three rounds of the bamboo joint are the same. After completing the first three rounds, we have rounds four, five, and six. These three rounds are single crochet in each stitch. Next, start crocheting the seventh round. For the seventh round, we skip one stitch and crochet one stitch. First crochet a single crochet in the first stitches. Then, combine the second and third stitches and crochet them as one stitch. Then, crochet a single crochet. Then, combine the next two stitches and crochet them as one stitch. This way, we have completed two sets. We follow this pattern. To finish crocheting this round, we crochet a total of six rounds and cut the thread after the sixth round. Reassemble a single crochet, hook a slip stitch to connect, then hook a standing stitch. Insert appropriate stuffing cotton, then hook the 8th round. The pattern of the 8th round is, combine every 2 stitches into 1. Decrease a total of 6 times. Complete. Next, hook the second round. Then, thread the two drawstrings on the bag through the center of the small ball. Form a small decoration at both ends of the bag. Next, we will handle the opening of the small ball. From the opening of each small ball, pass through the loops on the outside of each stitches. Then tighten the loops. This completes the gathering. Deal with the thread ends. Here's a brief explanation of Santa's black belt and the yellow buckle. Start with an appropriate chain stitch, sew it at the belt. 